Visual Productions is an innovative manufacturer based in the Netherlands that's really thinking outside of the box when it comes to lighting control. What they're doing is especially important for churches because many of the products from Visual Productions are designed to make lighting control easy for non-technical users. Something that can take the stress and time demands off of tech directors and other production folks. We've been working with the team over at Prestonwood Baptist Church in Plano, Texas, about their road test of the Visual Productions Q-Core 3 B-Station and TimeCore. Before we get into the interview, be sure to like this video and go ahead and subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel. The Q-Core uh, 3 product uh, from Visual Productions kind of blew my mind just because it's a, I mean, it's a fairly small box, pretty simple. You can think of it in a number of ways, but think of it as a lighting console in a box. You're gonna be pre-recording things into it, and it's going to be able to generate DMX of just about any flavor. It's the whole package, all in one element. So here I've got, I, I can trigger music uh, via any device we want to, whether that be a controllable uh, CD player, or uh, MP3 player or whatnot. Um, we can trigger an architectural lighting product for example, a children's area. In our atrium, we've got old-fashioned architectural lighting that's installed by an electrical contractor. But if you wanted to trigger digital signage, for example, this is the product that you would go to. The interface for the volunteer is as simple as a button push. Anyone can step into this and begin the, uh, the programming procedure and be successful at it. They've brought the programming side of things into grasp for those of us who are not professional programmers of whatever you know flavor of programming. This thing can take just about anything in and uh, cause something to happen via DMX. So the Beast Station is an interesting device uh, because you can use it for either uh, controlling something like the Q-Core or it can be a standalone DMX device. We all know that uh, these lighting consoles are mission critical devices. And from time to time, just like anything else that's man-made, we have problems with those. So you have to have a plan B that's in place. The Button Station 2 is an affordable way that you have presets already loaded that you can trigger. All, all the folks out there are using volunteers. Uh, we want to make things as simple as we possibly can. So I imagine having a space where on a Sunday morning, you know, you've got your walk-in look, You've got your welcome look, you've got your song look, you've got your baptism look, and you've got your you know prayer time look or whatever it may be. And the volunteer only has these six buttons to worry about. If you're in a situation where you're dealing with a lot of time code coordination, so like for, for us, for example, we do um, a lot of time code work in our main worship center uh, where we'll have the musical director will be sending time code out to everybody. And we're chasing that uh, with video, uh, with um, video server from the lighting console with lighting cues from the lighting console. And, uh, you know, the lighting console can certainly receive that time code and you can see that information in the lighting console. But this device gives you a little more insight into what it is that you're actually seeing. Um, not only does it serve really well as a, a visual, a physical visual reference for you that you're receiving time code, uh, but when you open up the software, you can see all the details of that time code, exactly what frame rate, uh, if it's what flavor of time code it is. Um, so for us, that's the big benefit of it is this piece sits in line and, and gives you some diagnostics so that if you need to troubleshoot, you know what you're looking at. Another way that you can use it um, that might be interesting for some folks is, is a time code generator. So you can actually have this generating the time code you need if you are needing something to create that time code that then is sending out to maybe record decks or things like that. Uh, but it's a very simple way for you to get some time code generated in your system. Anybody that's using time code just uh, knows whether we're chasing it or whether we're sending it, it needs to be solid from point to point in order for, for that time code to make sense to anyone so uh, or any device at the other end. It can go wrong once we are relying on it in that you could trigger the wrong uh, video file, the wrong you know background, the wrong tracks. Uh, you know it could it could also if it isn't solid or if something is intermittent, you could also you know start to skip or or move within that timeline. So 
once you're once you're in it, you have to really be sure that it's it's solid. One of the biggest problems that we've run into in the past is just time code that's not maybe it's not at the proper level that it needs to be, especially if it's audio LTC time code that's being generated. Uh, maybe we've got it being generated at the wrong frame rate, and that is interfering with uh, video playback in a way that's that's detrimental. So it's it's not good enough just to see time code or hear a really loud noise coming through your coming through your lines you need to be able to diagnose it and make sure that everything about it is proper so a big thank you to visual productions for making these innovative and affordable solutions to help churches with lighting control and thanks to the team at prestonwood for taking the time to evaluate these products and giving us your insights don't forget to like and subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel and check out our website at churchproduction.com for the latest information on all things church production. I'm Austin Allen, and we'll see you all next time.